that one from a side down. You are right there ladies and gents, how is it going? Boy, what a difference it is today compared to last time I was down in Brighton. As you can see, I'm out on the Angry Bee, and uh, yeah, I'm heading this way, which is on the way to on the wheel. Um, and this is a good boy, it's a good boy from the Angry Bee. Yeah, it's a good boy from the Angry Bee, and I've got all the traffic lights, as you can see. Oh my word, I'm a rhythmic dancer. Oh yes. <laughs> I hate Brighton when you get all these traffic lights, malarkey. But we are straight through, nice. Um, yeah, yeah, the bike is going, the bike is going and the new one is coming. It's new bike day, baby. Oh yeah, I love new bike day, even when I'm stuck in traffic. Um, well, I'm on a time constraint though, the insurance runs out on this very, very shortly. So I need to make sure I get there before that happens, as uh, we don't ride without insurance, people. We don't ride without insurance. These blooming cycle lanes are ridiculous. They've got a cycle lane. They've actually got a cycle lane already, but they've just given them another one for no flipping reason. It's like... Jeebus! Jeebus! I know cycle lanes and stuff are good for cycles. We're rubbish for everyone else. Stupid green pie. <laughs> but yeah, when we get there, we'll be at on the wheel. Um, and uh, uh, Jordan there um, has very awesomely sorted me out with a fantastic deal on my new motorcycle. Now, the majority of you will know exactly what my new motorcycle is. If you've watched any of my last two videos, that is, anyway. Um, and if you haven't... You'll find out in a very big, a very big second, a very short second, um, exactly what it is I'm getting. All right, traffic's rubbish. We don't want to show you traffic. All I want to say is I've had an absolutely awesome time owning this motorcycle. Well, I'm not getting rid of it because it's a bad bike. Or I'm getting rid of it because I'm a bad person. Or I'm, I'm broken. I'm corrupt. Uh, data 404 error, or whatever you call it, malarkey. Um, yes, yeah, I don't bend like I used to, and uh, it's just uncomfortable for me in my old crippled body. So it's time for something a little bit more upright. <laughs> All right, well, we are here at On The Wheel Superstore. Nice. All right. They got lots of bikes, lots of bikes. Okay, let's go find Jordan. All right, well, that is my new beastie. Um, no subterfuge here, no sneaky, oh, look at what surprise bike am I getting. It is the brand new Suzuki GSX-8S. And I've just got it from On The Wheel Motorcycles. Jordan, go say hello to him if you're down this way. And I'm sure he'll sort you out with a happy deal on a motorcycle. Um, I've had a fantastic experience buying from these guys. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just been awesome. And I don't mean that in any sort of ass licky way it's just been a really really fun experience buying this motorcycle right now i've got to go and ride it i've got to go and ride it um yes Ugh. gotta run it in gotta run it in and be nice to it and all that sort of stuff uh but yeah this should be good i'm only allowed four and a half thousand rpm apparently oh my word <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get out of here. Thanks on the wheel. It's been a pleasure. Bye bye, Gixer, you dirty little angry bee. Um, let's go this way. Oh, and it's a glorious day. I only ever buy bikes when it's raining. I thought it was going to be raining. It was raining when I left work this morning. I did a night shift last night. So um, yeah, I was expecting it to be raining and horrible today, but it's not, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh no, it's a puddle. When your boy's gonna get wet. <laughs> right, so last time you saw me down here, I went the other way. This time I'm going this way. Um, uh, let's get mirrors working in some kind of way that's useful. That one's ish. Ish. So the new steed, it is the uh, Suzuki GSX 8S. Um, yeah, I will get used to saying that maybe. <laughs> or at some point there'll be an abbreviation for it, like a Gixer or something or other. That makes sense. 8S, maybe it's an 8S. Trouble is, whenever I think of 8S, I think of radio controlled cars and think that it's only got an 8 cell LiPo. <laughs> Hopefully it has, they're fast. Right, well. Um, thinking about life and mistakes and all that sort of stuff I'm heading towards Brighton Centre now and as you can see the traffic is atrocious it's 4.30 um, yeah this could be a bad idea could be a bad idea yeah I need to find a better way out of it 
Right, out on the open road, finally. Oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? Oh, Avely jabbly. Up on Devil's Dyke here, or heading towards Devil's Dyke, um, depending on your opinions. Um, but yes, yes, we're not actually going to Devil's Dyke. I'm uh, just using this as a bit of country road to uh, not be going through Brighton Town Centre. But hey, worth it, hey, worth it. Yum yum, I do love the countryside. Right, well this wasn't supposed to be a mega long video, it's just introducing you to the motorcycle, the people I got it from, and uh, yeah, yeah, super happy, super happy. Um, so yes, my Suzuki GSX-8S is now in the stable, oh yeah, time to update the description on all my videos. <laughs> so we've got to run this thing in, um, which means I am restricted to about 66 miles per hour. Uh, for the first 500 miles and then uh, I'm allowed a few more revs and all that sort of stuff um, yeah to be seen how rigid I am with that running in procedure I am going to follow it mostly by the book mostly by the book because uh, warranties and all that sort of stuff uh, but yes yes yeah really happy really chuffed with the bike it's so comfortable um, certainly compared to the Gixa that is uh, you think I'm going to have a really enjoyable time with this motorcycle hopefully it will be a long time uh, but if it's just a, an interim motorcycle who knows there might be something even better around the corner in a couple of years time we never know do we uh, but yeah I, I can't see me wanting anything more than this on the road with the way I ride these days so um, yeah I think this bike is my channel's bike for, for now at least um, although I am still keeping the Aprilia don't get worried the Aprilia is still staying as is my beta I couldn't get rid of that I couldn't get rid of that it's too nice too nice um, but yeah the Aprilia is staying this is staying well, will we get rid of the Moto Guzzi V7 at some point when I don't know it might even get another year out of it uh, but I just think it's days are numbered with me I'm not riding it what's the point in having it let someone else enjoy it and all that stuff, eh? Let someone else enjoy it. I did want to say um, just a, a couple of things about the future of the bike. Um, I do have the first thing ordered for it. That is an Acropovic uh, exhaust full system. Um, and it doesn't need a remap, apparently. It just decats it, um, but doesn't need a remap. And that's good, because Euro 5, it's actually a pain in the neck to uh, remap your motorcycles these days. Um, but yes, yes. So uh, that's kind of cool. Full system coming for the bike. Shoon, shoon. Got to get it running first. I have seen some tail tidy designs for the bike and I do think that the bike would look better with a tail tidy uh, but I'm waiting for the right one to come out and it might mean that I do a kind of combination of buying bits from one and bits from another and getting the look I actually want from the bike uh, but I don't know I also want to use this bike all year round and tail tidies on stubby tailed bikes like this are always a bad idea for wet weather performance um, yeah so I don't know whether the tail tide will happen but I am keeping an eye on uh, at least one company who've got a prototype um, that I like the look of and uh, yeah yeah we'll have to see how that pans out but yeah yeah so um, things are afoot mirrors might get changed might not um, I don't know I don't have a problem with these sticky uppy things um, but I know uh, the bar ends would look better but then that makes filtering difficult to uh, difficult to uh. <laughs> um, but yeah yeah all right let's get past this traffic shall we let's get past this traffic well a bit of a fad in trying to get past these uh, cars up ahead um yes yes speed limits and running a motorcycle in mean that you can't really get past very much when it's busy and then there's cars up ahead of that so it's pointless it's all pointless so i might as well just stay here in line and just just to take my bit in life this is what i've got <laughs> Um, but with that in mind, uh, it's always going to be boring following um, traffic on a monolog, so I shall call this one here. Um, are we going to get to... No, we're not, damn it. But I will get to the front. The edit button makes traffic like so much easier. <laughs> if only real life was like that. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes, if you like this motorcycle and you want to see more of it, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you've not done so already. Um, if, you, if you like the bike and all that rubbish, give the video a big old thumbs up. And uh, if you didn't, you can always give it all thumbs down. I don't mind at all. Not precious. But remember, a pretty stay in. A pretty stay in. <laughs> any housels, any housels. Yeah, drop any comment and all that rubbish. You ride safe. Take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Oh, run again, can't speed off into the sunset. You know, you gotta keep that bye.
rubber sonic down.